in rational and irrational numbers we will see the topic terminating decimals and repeating decimals what is terminating and what is repeating terminating other word is opposite word is non terminate repeating and non repeating first we will see terminating decimals for example 1 by 4 so if you do division of 1 by 4 1 divided by 4 let us see this if you keep 0 we need to keep the point 4 to the 8 and 2 again 0 Four five zero twenty. So one by four value is nothing but zero point two five. So this is a terminating decimals means any division after certain repeated decimals after certain repeated divisions there should be stopped. So they should be terminate should be stopped. So one by four we can write as zero point two five. Similarly. Three by eight. Three divided by eight. We are doing. Keep zero and point. Eight three is a twenty-four, and remainder is six. Again, keep zero. Eight sevens of fifty-six, and remainder is four zero. Eight five is a forty. So remainder is zero. So three by eight is equal to zero point three seven five. After certain repeated divisions, they should be stopped. That means they should be terminate. They should be terminate. So like this decimals or we can call terminating decimals. Similarly, two four by five. This is the mixed fraction. Convert into improper. Five two zero ten and fourteen by five. So how to change this? Fourteen divided by five. Five two zero ten four. If you keep zero and point, five is a forty. So this is two point eight. Two four by five is two point eight. So this is the stop after certain repeated divisions. After certain steps, there should be remainder zero. If we get remainder zero, they are all terminating decimals. Without doing division, is it possible to find out whether it is terminating or non-terminating? So, after seeing the repeating, once you will see the shortcut method. Now, these are all repeating decimals because after doing certain divisions, so it will keep on continuous. There is never get remainder zero. One by three, one divided by three gives zero point three three zero nine. Again, you are getting remainder one. Zero three three zero nine. Again one zero. So three three zero nine. So it repeats, and this also repeats. That is one by three. You can write zero point three 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 so on. It is repeated continuously. So that all. These are all repeating decimals. Similarly, eleven by thirty. Eleven divided by thirty. Keep zero. You can keep the point. So how much times it takes? Three zero ninety. Thirty three zero ninety. Remainder is twenty. Again, keep zero. Thirty six zero one eighty. Again twenty. Again zero. Six is one eighty. Again, it's twenty. So it's repeating. Here six is repeating. Zero point three six six. It repeats. So generally, we can write in this method zero point three bar. How many digits are repeating? That much once you should write and keep the bar. This we can write zero point three six bar is on six. So these all are repeating decimals. If we take one by six. One divided by six keeps zero and point six one zero six four zero six six zero thirty six again four zero again six six zero thirty six so it is repeating that is zero point one six bar so these are all repeating decimals 
these are terminating decimals in any division after multiple divisions if we get remainder zero terminating decimals if you are not at all getting remainder zero at all there are repeating decimals without doing division we will see now how to find out whether they are terminating or repeating now without doing any division for example no previous example what I have taken terminating no I am taking this 11 by 30 this is the repeating decimal to check whether there are terminating or repeating we need to take the denominator first if denominator if we can write as the product of 2 to the power something and into 5 to the power something otherwise just take prime factors 2 15 3 5 so 30 factors are 2 into 3 into 5 prime factor notation take the denominator and write the prime factor notation in this prime factors except 2 and 5 in case if any other number is there they are all repeating decimals denominator in prime factors except 2 and 5 or 2 or 5 also any other number if 3 is extra number they are all repeating decimals so previous example we have taken 3 by 8 so we see 3 by 8 is a terminating because your denominator is 8 I can write 2 to 4 and 2 to 0, 2 on 0. Finally, 8 I can write 2 into 2 into 2. Yes, product of 2 to the power 3. So, only 2. So, there is no other number except 2 or 5. Otherwise, 2 and 5. Any other number is there only, they are repeating. If there is no other number, they are all terminating. Check is one more example. 11 by 45. So let us check it is terminating or repeating. So first condition is we need to take the denominator. 45. Find out prime factors. So 5 table, 3 table. Starting is 3 table can cancel. 3 1s are 3 and 3 15s are 45. Again 3 5s are 5 1s. So finally what you can write 45 as 3 power 2 into 5 to the power 1. Okay. Here extra 3 also is included. So apart from 5. Except 5 and 2. If any other number is included as a prime factors, they are all repeating decimals. So 11 by 45 is nothing but repeating decimal and last example 4 by 50 now we have denominator is 50 2 into 2 25 is a 5 5 is a and 5 is a this is a prime factor so 50 I can write 2 power 1 into 5 power 2 2 to the power something and into 5 to the power something only in terms of 2 and 5 there is no other number so 4 by 50 is terminating decimal anything is given you have to take the denominator find out prime factor notation except 2 and 5 any other number as the product of primes they are repeating only 2 and 5 otherwise 2 or 5 that is a terminating decimal